here today because we got to vaccinate our children. You know, we really don't have enough vaccines. Like, they're not mandatory, and that's the problem. Would the real Dr. Fauci please stand up? Please stand up. Please stand up. I don't know. Like, I guess more hip. I wanted, what I want to say is we got to uh, the Caroline, the thing I find most interesting about this is the people who don't like that would watch that and think that's I don't like that. I don't like that. I take it very seriously. Benny Johnson, who is like considered a serious person on the right, says this is the end stage of mass formation psychosis. Final boss. Vaccinate my wife. Vaccinate your DNA. Vaccine created by the CIA. Vaccinate your body. Vaccinate me at the party. You're a man dousing himself in hand sanitizer in a city hall and then yells, Dr. Fauci, give me that ouchie. And vaccinate me pure L. I love you. What can I say? DNA, I love you. I got the pure L feeling pure. It's He's he's spraying himself with hand sanitizer. He's talking about getting coronavirus from Mona. He's not serious, Benny. And the best part, though, not only is all the people that are on the right that are that are sharing, like, oh, this is real. People weren't sure if he like they thought he actually was a nurse or a doctor, and that's why like people got so incensed. Hmm. It appears we may have hit the final stage of mass formation psychosis in this country. Verified person says the TikTok nurses have taken to doing routines at city council meetings. Here's a nurse in Texas giving a performance that is a one of a kind. I wonder who he voted for. It's huge. This is not no, some it's, local it's station either. It's hours old. It's everywhere. I have mm. people sending it to me. They're like, Dave, have you seen this guy? I'm like, that's my co-host, Alex. <laughs> They're like, you know him. Yeah. People are freaking out. So when I saw that, I thought it was straight up like, I, I didn't know if it was a troll or not. So please give us the background of that. Okay, so Anomaly, dude, I've been creating content for now going almost on two years where I go and I troll all the city council meetings. And I, you know, I've had videos that have gone viral for other stuff, but you know, like Ben Shapiro shared it. I don't even, you know, I'm not Ben Shapiro, whatever, you know, but I'm saying he's people got, got a big audience, so yes. he's, got, he's got a nice yarmulke. You know. Alex Stein brought laughs and sparked outrage among both the left and the right when a video of him singing a song about the jab. It happened during Thursday morning, Dallas City Council meeting. The video went viral. Vaccinate our kids. We have to vaccinate them fast and early. But First of course off, it's just funny. And second off, it drives the right insane. And then third off, it does kind of rib Democrats for thinking that like when Kamala and Joe Biden had the like dancing nurses, like it, it yeah. this is ever, it sort of jokes like the jokes on everyone to vary. Wow, guys, I finally made it. My favorite website. Somebody just sent me Daily Mail. I'm on Daily Mail. My favorite Alex nice. Stein YouTuber. What wow. Does it say? What does it say? It just says, vaccinate me in my thong. Vaccination, right or wrong. <laughs> Moment YouTuber dressed in scrubs performs cringeworthy COVID rap while showering himself in hand sanitizer <laughs> in front of stunned Dallas City Hall officials. Oh, that's a under tyranny. And sadly, you know this, we are living in idiocracy. When I can go up there and I can spray hand sanitizer in my face and act like that, and people are like, oh my God, oh, because people are, people are all feel that way inside. Oh, dude, so, I did not know. I, I for sure thought you were like, uh, you know, know one of these people because they have i mean stephen colbert did one i know you know juvenile back that vax up they have like some liberals some really talented left wingers that are like great singers that have made songs that are good songs but you know i would say the content is not uh, appealing to me so you kind of fit in that's what i was thinking before i realized it was you when you the song included absurd lines like jab me in my thong jab me right or wrong dr fauci give me that ouchie in the video, he begins by declaring, will the real Dr. Fauci please stand up? Over the next two minutes, Stein dances and raps about jabbing moms, dads, babies, and even with rabies. Now, here's the funny thing. This is on ABC News. This is not some, you know, local station. This is the ABC, ABC News primetime. And uh, let's, thing. let's hear what thing. they've got to say. Today, you're going to get Corona from Mona. This man in Dallas is turning a few heads. <laughs> YouTuber Alex Stein busting rhymes for vaccinations. Vaccination freak. Vaccination freak and leak. I want the vaccine in my life. I want the vaccine for my wife. I want a vaccine. At one point, he douses himself in hand sanitizer before using a wet wipe to clean the microphone 
and his forehead. You're on ESPN. Uh, LSU alum performs hilarious, cringeworthy freestyle rap. But I like your quotes from the, uh, I don't remember if it was The Blaze or something, where you said that you've majored in vodka and Cajun food. And, oh, uh, yeah, that was fucked up. Did they quote me on that? How did you see that, Jaron? It's right here. I'll show you too. You were on The Blaze already? Or I thought that was tomorrow. That's all. I'm going on The Blaze tomorrow, and I'm going on The Blaze next week with the Elijah. Show. Vaccinate she. Vaccinate her. Vaccinate them. Vaccinate my friend. I want to vaccinate to the end. Vaccinate me pure L. I love you. What can I say? DNA. I love you. I got the pure L feeling. And a couple of people have interviewed me, like by, oh uh, Vice. Vice it reached out and they tried to interview me, and they're like, "Oh no, we saw that you're transphobic." And I'm like, "No, I'm trans. I'm Alexandria. How can a trans person <laughs> be transphobic? You know, and that that you know pisses them off. So they want they're trying to find ammunition. The biggest ammunition they found so far, they found an old tweet that I did delete that says, "Me Chinese, me play joke, me put COVID in your coke." I love y'all. Peace. God bless. Follow my Instagram. IG. Your time is up. Prime time stunner. Here's Thank the best you. part. Vaccinate your body. Love that guy there. All right. We switch gears now. To Love that the guy there. Love that guy. <laughs> Vaccinate and, your body. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is the local ticket, the biggest radio station, and they've been bashing wait, me wait, wait. all day. They're talking oh, about my okay. grandmother. Yeah, that's a good one. It's not a dadism. No. It's like an ism. So she uh, was found guilty. Jury deliberates for an hour before returning the verdict of guilty against Betty Minyard Stein, 65. So a little context. My grandmother lived right next to the high school, and these high school kids used to, like, throw cigarette butts at her, and, you know, she's crazy, and she shot a kid. It's supposed to be self-defense, and she's really old. And, yes, my uh, school shooting. My family's a family of lineage of school shooters. Hmm. Uh, and, wait, 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 we're just learning about this now. Dave, this shouldn't yes, shock that, you. This that shouldn't I'm shock a, you. I'm a, a third-generation school every, shooter. I learned something new every week. Every well, week, we, we like, go ahead. Continue. Well, you guys wouldn't know what it's like to have a school shooting family. I mean, that's nope. why Adam Lanza and I connect so well um, with the Lanza family. But Good what, what I'm saying, we'll get back to what I'm talking about, uh, this thing. So so now the radio station trying to find all this exposing about this. And so you missed it. They were talking all about my grandmother's court case. So they're like, dude, they're like going at, it's almost like a coordinated campaign on one station. And I've called them, left four messages. They weren't returning. So this is them bashing my grandmother and me. Five. Hmm. At one point during the trial, she called the prosecutor stupid. And in an exchange said that, quote, the victim's wounds were caused by something or someone else. She implied that the wound was actually caused when he falled on a ski pole. Could have been. When asked about why she did she did, you just say when he falled on a ski pole? Uh, when he'd fallen on a ski pole. Oh, excuse okay. Me. When he'd fallen on a ski pole. <laughs> when asked about why he uh, why she turned down a lawyer, she said, "I had a lawyer once in a civil matter. He was a communist and stole my money." He's <laughs> I like your grandma. Now she took the stand in her own defense. She referred to students as "quote little degenerates, sadists, and little communists." I can't argue with any of that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Have you run into I teenagers know. yet? Because my grandmother's from Highland Park and I still live near where her house is. They think I'm like some super rich trust fund kid. So wait, tell us what happened to your grandma, though. The guy who's going viral for his rapid Dallas City Council yesterday got the, has obviously the money to have the time to have nothing else to do. <laughs> other than trust fund just, just be a douche. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah.